Hey guys, happy new year to you. This is episode 2 in the Razor Back Kit build. Today we're going to focus on the wood finishing and staining this guitar. After giving it some thought, I decided I wanted the guitar to be on the darker side and try and highlight that nice book matched flame maple top. It is a veneer, but nonetheless, it should look pretty stunning if done right. So that's the plan. First and foremost, let's get about sanding this guitar. I use some quadruple zero steel wool and try to remove any blemishes from the veneer. There were a couple of glue stains that I was able to bring down. Only the stain will let me know whether it's done perfectly or not. But uh, I've done my best uh, without tearing into the veneer, which is really thin. Now I had no option but to grain fill the body because there were a couple of tool marks on the sides. And uh, that would just look wrong if not properly attended to. So, so first and foremost, let's get this body sanded. I had a lot of 600 grit lying around, so I know it's probably overkill, but let's hit it with some 600 to begin with. This is probably the most time consuming process because the better you sand, the better your results. Now we have the body nice and smooth, let's grain fill it with some cherry grain filler. I applied a nice thin layer so I don't have to do too much sanding at the end. Let's move on to the neck. These necks come finished with some kind of a sealer. So if you just stain them directly, it won't penetrate well and you won't get a very even finish. I'm using 600 grit. That's just to remove all the sealer so that the stain penetrates evenly. Before staining the neck, we're going to tape off the fretboard. I don't tape off the sides because I don't want any buildup. Rather than that, I just apply the stain carefully. And if it goes slightly onto the fretboard on the sides, it's no problem at all. So I gave the neck a first coat of Danish oil which had a walnut tint to it. I didn't find it dark enough, so I went over it again with the ebony stain. And um, uh, I think it looks much better now. The grain is now nicely highlighted, and I think it looks pretty cool. Now back to the body. The grain filler has dried up overnight. Let's sand it down with some 600 grit and get it nice and smooth. Initially, I thought I'd go with a Danish oil on the top, but the moment I applied it, I found it just too light and it just looked wrong. So I quickly switched to ebony and used the Minmax ebony stain over the entire top and then the rest of the body. I then gave it a couple of days to dry and applied some gunstock finish on just the mahogany portion, avoiding the top so that it brings out a nice dark brown blackish finish. I've given the body and neck a good week to dry and this is just because of Christmas and New Year. And now we're going to work on putting this together on the next episode. Hey guys, if you like this kind of content, do give it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. With that, I'll see you on my next update. Bye now.